Hello, what's up everybody and welcome to another brand new video from SamSafe. Today I'll be going through the Pure Water Factory and be showing you the Pure Water Machine as you can see behind me here. And just also share some tips with you on how to effectively produce pure water and how to manage your factory in such a way that will reduce expenses when it comes to maintenance, repairs, waste, decages and so on. We just finished production. The operator was here overnight. He produced water throughout the night till daybreak this morning. Luckily enough, Nepa was able to leave light for us, for us to produce pure water. And I think throughout the night today, he was able to produce up to 700 plus bags. So throughout the night, the guy was producing. He tried though, he tried. He just left, he didn't sleep. I'm sure he will be on his way home now to go and sleep and maybe continue production. In short, the operator told us that he works for, like he works, let me say freelance. Today we call him when he produces for us. It's not permanent. There are times when the operator will be free. So they use the opportunity to also go and work and earn more money for themselves. So let me show you what we produced here in the factory. So I'm currently working towards the finished product room. And this is the finished product, the pure water that we have produced and packaged throughout the night. Now some of the bags, we had some pure water here, but the driver came in this morning and went out with a few bags. And sure, not too long, so he came back for his second loading. We only make use of one driver now because it's the raining season and in this factory we try to maintain our vehicles so you know, when the demand is high and we need the service of another driver, we have the vehicle outside, we just call him in and he goes out for delivery. But for now, we only make use of one vehicle because of, uh, you know, petrol price and so on. But if you are thinking of setting up your own factory and you want pure water to be moving out, you need like 1,000 bags in the market. You know now, you have to upgrade the scale of your production increase your machines and so on. The essence of me doing this video self today is because I've gotten questions of, um, I've gotten question whereby people ask me, how can I set up a factory? I just want something small. I don't need anything big like that. I just want uh, maybe one pure water machine. You can see like this factory is only one pure water machine. So yeah, it's for those people asking for small scale production. That's why I'm doing this video today. So this is the finished product room. This is the exit after the pure waters are produced. When the driver comes, he makes use of this um, exit. You can see the other vehicle there. So he makes use of this exit and he loads the pure water into, into the vehicles. So from the finished product room here, this door leads us to our treatment section. This is where we have our reverse osmosis machine, our water filters, and um, over here are our treatment tanks. This tank here, this is the semi-treated tank, and this one at the right here is the treated tank. We also have the raw water tank outside, but it's behind here. So for the semi-treated tank, this semi-treated tank is when the water comes in from the raw water tank. The raw water tank is the tank that you know, is the direct tank where the water comes from the borehole. We make use of a bowl here. Where the water comes from the borehole, then it enters the raw water tank. So from that raw water tank, we have treatment sections. We have the water filtration tanks here. That's this one's here. Once the water comes in, this pump is what draws the water from the raw water tank. Once the water comes in, it goes through these treatment tanks. From these treatment tanks, this filtration system here, it comes to the semi-treated tank. So when it's at this semi-treated tank, we send it over to the reverse osmosis machine. That's this machine here. So once the water comes and it goes through the reverse osmosis, when the reverse osmosis is done with the treatment, it comes to the treated tank. So this treated tank here, you can see this ozone. <laughs> See the way it was constructed, but <laughs> we had to hang it there. So this ozone is a purifier. It's what makes the water last long. 
if you've seen production of bottled water if you've kept bottled water for some time you will see that even though it stays for two weeks three weeks a month two months three months it won't spoil or it won't smell so it's the job of the ozone is this ozone that purifies and preserves the water like that so when the water is in this um treated tank here we also have another pumping machine that is okay the pumping machine is here but the switch is inside the factory uh-huh you see this angle here the pressure of the water from this tank is what made this place go in like this you can see <laughs> the heaviness of the water so you have to also and when constructing your own factory you also have to look out for some of all these things where you are placing your tanks and to make sure that they don't lose balance and fall this tank fell once i think there was one time it fell down it just rested on this wall here and if you even see the pipe the pipe is not too straight like that <laughs> but we have to manage so you can also keep an eye out for some of these things when setting up your own factory so one of these pumps here i think it's this one bro. yeah okay it's this one so this one sends water to the pure water machine inside the factory you can see where the pipe leads to like that so once they switch on the pump from there the pure water machine draws the water from the treated tank and production starts so depending on where you are located you might need a generator or you just make use of nipper light for pure water production most advisably for you to see profits in your business we suggest you set up your factory where there is good power supply from Nipa. There's a way you can arrange with them. You know, once you are setting up your factory, all the electrical work, you can get a good engineer. Get someone that knows what he's doing so that your equipment won't burn or they won't tell you current is not reaching or current is not enough for one machine and so on. In short, we recently had to change this breaker. This breaker got burnt because the power that was supplied here was too much for the switch, the socket which was here. So it got burnt and this breaker just got installed recently. So for setting up a mini pure water factory like this with one pure water machine, those things you will need is obviously number one, your pure water packaging machine. You will need one of these. Then you will need your source of water. Maybe you are getting your water from the tap or you are getting it from borehole or well anyone that's a source of water then you need to get a raw water tank a semi-treated tank and your treatment and your treated tank then that's three tanks then um you also need your water filtration system now depending on your engineer and the quality of your water you might need the reverse osmosis machine or you might not need it i've heard that in some factories their water is good, so they don't necessarily need the reverse osmosis machine. But if your water is hard, like our own or in some other places, you will need the water filtration tanks and the reverse osmosis machine. So you will also need the water filters. That's this water filters that you see here. We have four of them here. We have two of them at the point of the reverse osmosis machine, and we have one at the point of the raw water tank. So all in all, that's four to six plus one, seven. So you need seven of them. But that also depends on how your factory is set up. You might need more or you might need less, depending on the quality of water you have here. So another thing is, okay, the ozone. You need the ozone to keep your water refreshed. I think that also depends on the quality of the water you have there and, you know, the factory standard. So just to have a good treated water in your factory, I also recommend that one. You need um, to have standard pure water that can last for a long period of time. So another thing you need, you need your raw materials. In a previous video, I mentioned those raw materials. That's your packing bag, your, um, your packing bag, your pure water nylon rolls. And yeah, I think those are the two major things, your packing bag. And your pure water nylon rules okay and the filters which i mentioned yeah you will need these filters so that you'll be able to replace them when 
you get better. I think this one in particular will need to replace this one. You can already see it turning somehow. So yeah, and this one will need to replace this filter here. So you can see the rest too. So yeah, basically that's all what you need for a one machine filter factory setup. Don't forget, like I said, if you need tips on setting up a factory, you need a consultant to help you walk you through this entire process, you can contact me using the contact info.